You may not know this, but tomorrow is World Wish Day. It's a worldwide thank you day celebrating all the Make-A-Wish medical professionals, the donors, volunteers, the sponsors. It also salutes all the Wish kids and their families. Many are battling life-threatening conditions. And as our Alicia Smith reports tonight, one of those kids who's still waiting for her wish seems to have an act for spreading a little joy of her own. She's this week's Detroit's 2020 Person of the Week. Her smile will probably grab you first. How are you doing? Good! But Emily Lickman's hugs are epic. She makes you feel right at home. I'm Alicia Smith, and I wish family. I first met this spunky fifth grader when taping the Walk for Wishes promo at Channel 7. Yay! I love you. I love you too. The 11 year old is a ray of sunshine. She lives in South Lyon with her parents, Michelle and Phil, and her little sister, Sophia. Emily's mom says she finds joy in things that are not typical for her age. She gave herself the nickname Punky because of her love of the 80s sitcom character Punky Brewster. When her friends were dressing up as princesses for Halloween, she went as Annie because she's a big fan of Broadway musicals. She is just who she is and she's proud of it and she, people really see her before they see the chair. Michelle Lickman says that she and her husband were shocked when Emily was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at 22 months. They moved back to Michigan from the East Coast to be closer to Mott's Children's Hospital. Over the years, Emily's had several major surgeries and more recently, numerous hospital stays to treat dehydration, a rare component of CP. Those many days in the hospital qualified her for Make-A-Wish. And her wish is to go to her favorite Florida theme park. So who do you hope to see first when you get there, character-wise? Mary Poppins. Her enthusiasm helps fuel her adventurous nature, tackling ropes courses, <laughs> even taking up the trombone. Emily says she tries to speak for people with disabilities. Because they can't talk. Well, do you feel like you have a voice for those who don't? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Awesome. She wants to be able to communicate to other people that you can be disabled and still have a positive outlook and be productive. Over the years, she's gotten really involved with Dance Marathon at the University of Michigan, endearing herself to the students and staff, and people rarely see her spirits fall. But hours of physical therapy can be grueling. This year, she pushed through because she had a goal. That she was gonna be able to walk out to the wood chips and get onto the swings you know, outside of the wheelchair. And she came home one day and said, I was staring at the swings and I realized I worked this hard and I didn't get there. You know, we kind of lived to the moment and she all of a sudden she was like, okay, I'm over it and went away and started putting on a Broadway tune and started dancing in a wheelchair. And dance she does, complete with wheelies and spins. You can do it, you have the moves. I wanna give you a hug back. Oh my God. You're such a good hugger. Thank you. Because she lives life to the fullest and shares her joy with others, Emily Punky Lickman is this week's Detroit 2020 Person of the Week. In South Lyon, Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Oh, how sweet. What a wonderful story. Congratulations to you, Punky. Well you deserved. can join her, Alicia Smith, mm -hmm. and thousands of other Walker is at this year's 19th annual Make-A-Wish Michigan Walk for Wishes. WXYZ Channel 7 is a proud media partner for this event. It's next Saturday on May 6th, and the Detroit Zoo's fundraised help support future wishes for eligible children in our community. You can register online by going to WXYZ.com or Michigan.Wish.org, and we hope to see you at this year's event. They do such good work, and they've been approaching us about uh, doing something with Scarlett also. So Which is, don't they do wonderful work they, you for know, children? And it's just, you know, when, you, when you're already living in a wheelchair or with a disability like that, life is tough. So it's so nice to somebody out there saying, come on, let's make it a little easier for you. Yeah, you agree, I'm sure. Yeah, we got to play baseball together last year. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We'll see you